Hi guys, thank you so much for watching. I'm Dr. Linda Kramer and today is our July horoscope. Let's get straight into it. This month, now that I've analysed and researched all the star signs for the month, we must remember the world is going into global recession. So therefore, a lot of us are feeling these pinches. A lot of us are having financial troubles, losing our jobs. Look how many banks are closing. Look how many businesses are closing. So this is not the time for any of us to start new business dealings, going into real estate, etc. Because I'm predicting real estate prices are about to tumble. So if you're looking to sell, sell now. Okay. I wouldn't say to buy now if you're going to sell to buy somewhere else. Look around for deals, obviously, or if you get your cash, do cash in the hand deals. You know, cash always wins. You can go down on the price. If you're looking to buy at this point, oh, don't do it. It is not the time to buy real estate. I can see real estate going down by a third. So if your house is worth 300000 it's going down to 200000 if your house is worth three million, it's going down to two million. And I've already seen this starting. So I've been pro prophesizing this now for about six months. July prices will tumble. Food is about to become scarce again. So please be aware of any spending for all of us. Okay. So now that we've got that, I've got my tarot and my prophecies here for the next month for all our star signs. So let's get straight into it because it's not all doom and gloom, okay? Aries number one, okay? Not much progress this month. <laughs> I should have just said this for everybody. Everybody, it's no, no much, not much progress this month. But Aries especially, not much progress this month, okay? So use this time to network. Make your new friends, find your tribe, plan and ascertain what it is that you want to do when the financial situation improves. So this is a perfect time for Aries to start setting your goals, making new friends and preparing for your future. Okay, now the message that she gave me about Aries for July, be proud of where you are and use those thoughts to create your ambitions. How does that work for you, Aries? I hope it works well. So now we come into Taurus. This is actually a rarity because Taurus this month, this month is having successes. So now we've got to remember, successes are not always money related. This could be just having great times with friends. This could be having a love moment with your partner. This could be having that purring moment with your cat. Successes come in all forms, okay? So the potential to obtain success in work, family, friends, etc. is prominent for Taurians this month, okay? Dream big and reach the stars. There you go. Now, my message from my girl for Taurus, always be grateful and thankful for any big or small windfalls that come. Always be grateful. Always say thanks. Okay. So now on my list, we go over to Gemini's. You've just had your birthday month, Gemini's. I hope it was a good one for you. But this time we're going downhill again, like the rest of the world. So for Gemini's this month, Inner turmoil is prevalent. Sorry to say it. Remember, good things come when the work is done on the inside. So this is a great time to be doing all your inner psychoanalyzing, healing all those grudges, regrets from the past. Why are you a sarcastic person who likes putting people down type? If that's the case, this is the time when you say, well, what is it within me that makes me want to compete with others so they fail and make me look good? Okay, so this will lead to more production and ambitious thoughts coming to you. 
So this is a great month to clear out all your emotional baggage, okay? Professional life will take up a lot of your thoughts this month. So where are you going? What's your goals? What's your ambitions for the future about money? Okay, so that's going to come into play a lot for you this month. And the message from my girl for all my Geminis, moving forward is sometimes involving the inner work that is necessary. Okay, so when we move forward, we must work on the inside. There's your message. All right, so that's our Gemini. Now, let me go over to Cancer. Cancers, happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. All right, this is your emotional check-in month. This is the month for Gemini, I'm sorry, for Cancians. Your month is going to be an emotional roller coaster. Be warned about it, okay? Um, we go to the doctor for health, but sometimes we do need to check in on our emotions and our mental health, right? So this is the time when you say, right, have I got any fears, anxieties? Am I trying to control situations? Do that inner work and psychoanalyze why you've got those behaviors, okay? Remember, emotions are normal, okay? But outbursts are not normal. So if you have any emotional outbursts, shut yourself down immediately and say, why did that occur? Why am I triggered, okay? And work it out, okay? So it's okay to say that you're struggling, okay? And hopefully these emotions are also due to really good things coming. So if you do have big wins, it's okay to have that oh, emotional outburst in that case, okay? But just remember, do it in accordance with being positive, okay? So my girl, her message for cancer this month, be prepared for the unexpected. For things never go the way we want. <gasps> Hope you heard that one, Cancer. Alrighty, so now I've got to find... Here we are, our Leo children. Leo. My God, you've been here before, Leo. You know the old going around and around in the guinea pig wheel and you think, well, it's been two years, but I'm in the exact same spot. Or you've made some headway. And then, oops, now you're back to square one again. That's okay, because we've got to remember the whole world's going through this, Leo. Okay? So you've been here before. You've managed to pick yourself up in the meantime. You will do it again. Okay? You know that when there is a lull or a slowdown in your job, your friends, your going out time, etc., it only means that slow slowness comes so we can be productive inside here okay so when you're feeling low when you're feeling down take this as an opportunity leos to say right i've been here before what did i do last time did it work for me what do i have to tweak to make it better this time so leos your message from my girl just because you're finding yourself in similar situations that you have happened previously, this doesn't mean that the outcome has to be the same. Okay? Keep positive. So there's our Leo children. Now we go into Virgo. Virgo! You know the old, um, who was it, the turtle and the rabbit story? They're having this race and the rabbit says, ha, 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 I can outdo the rabbit. Um, I can outdo the turtle. Be the turtle. Slow and steady wins your race this month, okay? If you've got projects that you're trying to do, don't think about the end result. Stay tuned to where you are in the present moment, Virgo, okay? Don't think about what's coming in the future. Think about just now using those baby steps to move forward because that's how you're going to win the race okay use this time to dream of what you truly desire and be on the outlook for new opportunities to increase your wealth okay 
So Virgos, our message from my girl, progress can be physical or a dream about to be realized. So even if you're going at turtle pace, dream big and go for it just in those baby steps to make it all happen. Okay. Libra, here we go with you guys now. Okay. This is your confidence month. Have you thought about going and buying some new clothes, getting your hair done, write that resume and get it out there for other people to see who you are? This is your month to shine. So as we always look in the flip side, if you feel that you have got abundances of confidence like I do, <laughs> sorry, I <laughs> just know that I'm a confident person, go out there and shine. If you think that you're lacking confidence, this is your time to question why aren't you feeling like you're 100%. Check in and do that emotional work, okay? This is your time to shine. And when we are content with what we have or not have, I'm content that I don't own a mountain where people skydive off it. I don't want to ever skydive, so why would I want it when... Why would I ever do it? So I'm content not having those opportunities, right? So think of it that way. So when we are content with what we have or don't have, we create this amazing euphoria, which is our confidence within us, okay? This newfound strength will be needed to deal with certain people who may attempt to bring you down. Remember what happens when there's no money, banks are closing, no food, etc. Everybody starts getting conceited and selfish. This is not your time to be that. This is your time to shine your spark and be that leader amongst the others, teaching them who to be. Okay, so my lady for Libra, she says, life is not a competition. It is an opportunity to compliment. Whoa. Okay. Now we go to Scorpios. This is your ego month. Wow. Are you trying to compete? Are you trying to tell people that you're better than what you are? Are you writing resumes and you think, oh yeah, I'm just going to add all of this and make myself look damn fine? Because this is your ego check-in month. Okay. This is not the time to think that you can do it all. This is where you've got to be humbled and ask for help, okay? If you're going for job interviews, it's okay to say to those interviewers, what else do you need me to do to do this job? I'm happy to undertake more training because if you feel that I'm not in my 100% game, I want to be there for you because I'm dedicated to your company, etc. Okay, so this is about learning. It's not about you. It's about everybody else around you at this time, Scorpio. Okay, so asking for help and being humbled is what lessons will bring this month. Okay, reassess the quality, not the quantity, but reassess the quality of your support network. So my lady has given you a message and that message is quality of relationships should never include control. Because it's your ego month, remember? Quality of friendships should never include control because it's your ego. Alrighty, so now we come up to Sagittarius, the ninth star of our um, horoscope this is your money month you may be spending money you may be making money but everything this month is going to be about finances okay this is your month to do that happy dance if you do come into a other money uh, unexpected money you may get a will or an inheritance that's coming to you this month everything is talking money 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 okay Hard work is now paying off and the rewards are being given. But there's a warning with this, guys. Try not to overindulge as what 
comes in will also go out. Okay? Remember, the world is in, going into, I reckon we're already in a depression. Okay? Stuff this recession stuff. I reckon we're already in a depression. So if you do come into money, think about where you're going to store it because a lot of banks are closing. So be careful what you do with it. Okay? And the message from my lady, time to do that thing you have been planning. Huh? Have you been planning a trip? Planning a new car? Maybe you just want to get your hair done. Okay? But this is the time to do that thing that you've been planning. Okay. Number 10 on my list is Capricorn. Your horoscope for this month, the month of July, it says this month is about looking after you. It's your health that matters first to you. So if you do find that you're overdoing it, looking after other people, being supportive to other people, doing too much at your work, it's okay to say, huh, I'm going to take a day out just for me. Okay? So, things not going the way you planned is also in the cards this month. So, be about you. Make it about you. And I'm not talking in a selfish or egotistical way. It's just like saying, you know what, I've worked five days. I need an afternoon off where I just don't talk to anyone. Okay? You might want to go and indulge in a bubble bath instead of having a shower. You may want to go out and buy yourself a new dress. Or a new pair of shoes. So make this month about you, Capricorn. Okay? There is a full moon on the um, coming up this month, which is going to affect you as well. So this is the time to make those well-deserved changes. Now, my lady, hello. Her message for you guys, Capricorn. Love yourself and look after yourself. So you can shine when needed for others. I love that. What a nice message from her for Capricorns this month. Okay. Aquarius. Getting down into the last two now. Aquarius. Good people this time for you. Time to watch your health as well. Obst obstacles are coming for Aquarians. Remember what I said at the beginning? It's not the time, guys. To go out, buy real estate, buy and overindulge. It's not the time. Okay? Take stock of you, Aquarius. Okay? There are obstacles coming. Things not going according to your plan. Un, um, unexpected things may come up. Hopefully, these are good things. Right? But I'm seeing delays and things not going to plan will arise. Okay, don't have too many expectations, Aquarius. Watch your temper when things don't go your way, okay? And remember that these are only temporary setbacks. Things will improve in the future, okay? So just breathe, relax, and try not to hurt others by what's hurting you, okay? So look after yourself, Aquarius. Okay, my girl, her message for you this month, a positive outlook will help you get through the chaos at this time. Okay, take that time out, that five minutes to just breathe. Go and do some grounding. Go and do a singing bowl or a drumming session. Okay, take that time just for you to just, so then you're 100% for others as well. Okay. A positive outlook will help you get through the chaos. So now we come up to the lucky last one. It's me, Ma. Okay, Pisces, because I'm a Pisces. And I like that I'm the last one because I do the whole lot without thinking, oh, wow, what's Pisces doing this month? So this is our challenges month. Look at me right now. I'm having dental surgery tomorrow. All these weird and wonderful, unexpected things are coming to us, Pisces. Okay? But these challenges make us stronger. Okay? Always be grateful. Always be thankful for any turmoil 
that comes your way. Okay? Just keep remembering that this is only momentarily um, a negative part of history. Things will turn around hopefully soon in the future. Okay? So this is also the month of endings. And with these endings come new opportunities for growth and development. Okay? We must remember doors close, windows open at this time for Pisces. Okay? Now, my message for us Pisces this month, solutions will come if we trust the divine for assistance. Wow. How do you feel about that? I can tell you how I'm feeling about it. The world is going downhill, okay? I can't see it picking up anytime soon now that I've been doing the cards and tarots, etc. Okay? It's a time to take, take stock. It is a time to reevaluate. And most of all, it is a time to look after our health. How many people are dying suddenly now? We must be careful of our health, guys. Be aware of what you're eating. Look at the ingredients. Ask yourself, is this healthy for me going into my future? Okay? Look at my ingredients that I now have in my tea that I have. Turmeric, ginger, garlic, honey, lemon, and now I'm also doing sumac. S-U-M-A-C. Okay? It's a spice and it does good for heart stuff. Okay? So I drink at least a half a cup of that every day. All I do is just one little sprinkle. Okay, a little bit of lemon juice. So I just I just cut off a little slice and I put that in there. And a teaspoon of honey, okay? And it tastes gorgeous. I love it. So please, no, everyone in Australia at this point is sick. I don't want anyone sick. I want to look after you all. But look at me, I've been healthy. Okay? I don't want to say the sick word. So this month, guys, please look after yourselves. Please pay attention to any changes that your body's doing. Please be, please pay attention to all the distractions that they are feeding us. So look for the truth. Okay, guys, this is a pivotal month coming where we either succeed or go down that toilet with the rest of them. So I hope and pray that you are all shining brightly like I wish I was too. So thank you so much for watching and I'll talk to you all soon. Bye.